with another one. So if you don't know, my name is Remy Naiji and I am your personal stylist and fashion expert. Women turn to me when they want to transform their wardrobes and level up on their competition and ultimately outdressing them as well. So today I am here just with a quick video just to show you how to take your own measurements and how that determines your body type. So I have a little mannequin here. I take her measurements today because I don't want to take my own. <laughs> But I have taken my measurements. They're not too bad, but I'm working on some things. So, um, I technically am a proportionate body type. And that in a tricky way. Um, I technically am top heavy, but because I wear mostly minimizers, that makes me more proportionate to my body type. And I've been hitting them squats. So, technically, my waist is slimmer. And my um, chest and bottom half are about the same. So the first measurement you want to take is the measurement that is around your bust area and you definitely want to take it at the largest part. So you want to take it around here and you want to take it at the largest part of the breast and not too tight, not skin tight, but she's right at a 34, um, right across the um, largest part of her breast. Now, that does not mean that she is a 34 bra band. Um, I don't want you guys to get that measurement confused. We will talk about how to take your own bra measurements a little later, but that is the measurement that you take below your breast, so not the largest part, but below. That would determine your um, your bra band size, so not to get those two confused. So then the second measurement you want to take is the smallest part of your waist, so that would be right at her imaginary belly button, which will be somewhere here. So you're going to take it at the smallest part. And she is about 30 or 25 and a half. 25 and a half inches across her waist. So you want to take it at the smallest part. Um, if you wear high-waisted jeans, that's mostly where your um, smallest part will be, near your belly button. And the third measurement you want to take is around the largest part of your hips. And she is right at a 35 and you don't want to do it skin tight so 34 25 35 so she is proportionate of course because she's a mannequin and you know don't eat carbs <laughs> quick way to take your measurements um, I know as a personal stylist and if you ask me um, to style you I will need your measurements so those three will be the most important that I'll ask for unless you went into some more specialty suiting and other things but those are the three main three measurements that you want to know and that will also determine your body type so from her body type she is her chest and her hip area are the same measurement and her waist is smaller so she's proportionate so the other two body types will be if everything or three body types. There's other ones, but I just stick to four mainly. So proportionate. If your breast is larger than your bottom, then you are um, top top heavy, which is like an inverted triangle, which I can sometimes be, but I try to <laughs> hide from it. Um, the third would be if your measurements from your chest, your waist, and your hip area are about the same. Um, square shaped, rectangular shaped. Um, but yeah, you're just straight up and down. And then the fourth measurement is if you are what people call the pear shape. Um, or if you're just bottom heavy. So when your chest is smaller than your waist and your hips. So that means that you are... Um, a triangle, pear shape, bottom heavy. So those are the terminologies for those body types. Um, so yeah, go ahead and take your measurements. Take your local measuring tape, local, um, <laughs> your nearest measuring tape, and know your measurements. Um, it does not have to do anything with the scale weight. So you can be any four of those body types at any weight. That makes sense so if you're 110 pounds versus 
200 pounds um, it does your body type does not determine it's not determined by your weight so yeah I really don't deal with scales I will do a measuring tape, but that's all I have for today. Thank you for checking it out. And if you have any comments or questions, hit me down in the comment box. Um, if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell um, so you can be notified when my videos are live. And yeah, thank you for watching. Largest part. I'm going to get this together. <laughs> That's why you can edit, but um...